Welcome back to the IBSP. Here's your host, Foxy New. Welcome back, fight fans. Welcome back. Let's just dig right into it. Jamal Charlo knocks out Dennis Hogan. Uh, in a spectacular fashion but the thing is it's a cherry pick it's a tomato can fight it's a fight that we all knew the outcome before it started you know you get no credit for beating a guy with seven knockouts on his resume a guy moving up in weight and a guy coming off of loss it's a pointless fight for jamal charles to showcase fight it proved zero and we still have the same questions about Charlo that we had before the fight started. Can he compete with the best at 160 pounds? Because he's not facing 160 pound fighters. This is his second fight in a row against a guy moving up from 154 to 160. He turned down a Demetrius Andre fight because that would be very difficult. We see that Jamal Charlo doesn't have the skill set to compete with the top guys like a Demetrius Andre, like a Canelo Alvarez. We understand that he's just not at that level. And maybe that's why he's being protected and cherry picking guys moving up in weight those fights for him are fights that he's consciously avoiding he's looking for guys that are no real threat guys where he can pamper his record and you know pretty much make it you know look and appear different than what it is you see that jamal charlo likes fighting a guy moving up in weight a guy with all the disadvantages a guy who has no power and who cannot hurt him so you have to understand and be honest and unbiased that jamal charlo fighting him is is absolutely pointless because he's fighting a guy who has no ability to do anything to him no ability to hurt him no ability to, to to stand in the pocket with him in trade because he's fighting a tomato can he's fighting a tune-up fighter he's fighting a guy who just simply doesn't have the skill a guy who doesn't have the weight the power or the iq he's fighting a tomato can why is jamal charlo turning down demetrius andre simply because he's saving his o for a canelo alvarez payday that's all this really is he's saving his 04 Canelo Alvarez payday you know he 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 doesn't really want to face the best uh, middleweights because that's why he turned down Eddie Hearn's offer to fight on the zone an offer that would have been three times more than what he currently gets paid on the PBC see at the end of the day Jamal Charles is a cherry picker and a fraud and he's happy with being those things but once again unbiased as always it's the IBFP